Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to my Very Merry Makeup series. This avant-garde look is inspired by a Christmas berry called Holly Berries. It's very festive with the green and red Christmas colors and I thought this would be a perfect look to share with you guys on Christmas Eve. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays no matter what your plans are this year. I hope it's amazing and I'm thinking of you. Now without further ado, let's jump into this Holly Berry Christmas transformation. To start out this look, I'm going to be applying some beauty oil and this is going to really hydrate my skin. I'm going to go ahead and work that in with my fingertips. And next I'll be applying lip balm and primer. So this primer is going to really give me a super smooth, flawless base. It'll fill in all of those pores and protect the skin from any makeup getting into them. I'm using a medium coverage foundation and I really love this foundation because it actually adds a little bit of glow to the skin. And I'm just going to be applying this evenly throughout the face. I'm also gonna be concealing, just like spot concealing, with a full coverage concealer. I'm just gonna be dotting that on and blending that out in little areas around my face. I'm gonna be concealing with a full coverage concealer and this is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. I'm just gonna be placing this around the face where I wanna add brightness and also coverage and then setting that all in with a translucent powder. For brows, I'm just gonna follow my natural shape and I'm using a dark brown brow pomade and then setting the brows in with a clear brow gel. And now I'm gonna be adding eyeshadow primer because we're gonna be jumping into the eye look. I'm starting out the eye look using a green cream color and I'm just gonna be placing this in the outer corner of the eye and also the inner brow area. I'm gonna be blending that out with a green eyeshadow and this is a matte shadow. Picking up this lime green eyeshadow, I'm gonna be placing this on the lid and also around the dark green color. I'm just gonna drag this color out and really drape it around the eye, winging upwards towards the temples. Gives kind of a really sweeping effect on the eyes. And then also blending that color just above the brows. I'm using a red cream color now and I'm just gonna place that on the inner corners of my eyes and then top that off with a matte red shadow. And I did place some more of the lime green shadow just at the tops of the cheekbones, just connecting that eyeshadow together. I'm gonna be using a cool tone contouring powder to sculpt the face and I'm just going into the hollows of the cheeks, the jawline and also the temples. For blush, I am using a baked berry shade of blush just right on the apples of the cheeks. And I did go into the brow bone and inner corner with a shimmery golden highlight. I love to add glitter to most of my looks so here I'm gonna spritz my face with some primer water and add gold glitter over the brows and around the eye area. This kind of gives almost like a frosted look to the eyeshadow and the eyebrows. So I'm going to be highlighting using a green duochrome highlighter and I'm just going on the cupid's bow, the nose, and the tops of the cheekbones. And just to further define the eyes, I did line my waterline with a black eyeliner and I'm using a black shadow just to smoke everything out a little bit more. I did pick up some more of the matte green shadow and I'm just going to use this to contour the nose. And I'm also going to be dragging the green shadow under my eyes downwards. Then once again, just spritzing my face and adding some glitter under the eyes. And now I'm gonna apply some black mascara and false lashes. I wanted to add some rhinestones to this look and I did add them over one eye. So I'm just gonna be sticking them randomly over the eye and I did bring this actually into the eyeliner and the lash area of the eye. So there's just stones kind of cascading towards the temples and down the cheek. For lipstick, I'm using a liquid lipstick and this is a beautiful Christmas red. And I'm just gonna be topping that off with some red glitter and I just pressed this in, I didn't use any adhesive. Also adding some of that red glitter on the inner corners of the eyes. For the body, I'm gonna be using a green airbrush paint and I'm just gonna ombre over my shoulder, cascading into the center of my chest. This kind of gives like a mossy, really earthy look to the skin. I went in and added some glitter as well over the green and this is just a really chunky iridescent green glitter. Using some paper flowers, I'm gonna create the holly berries on my shoulder. So I'm just laying down some adhesive first and then applying those leaves. 
To create the berry, I used a red water activated paint and then topped that off with some red glitter. And then I just added a little bit more of that green glitter and popped on my gray wig. And then to complete the body, I am using a golden powder highlight just on the center of the chest and on the collarbones. This is the final Hollyberry Christmas avant-garde makeup. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, be sure you like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. And if you have enjoyed my Christmas looks this month in December and you loved my Very Merry Makeup series, be sure you hit that share button and share with as many people as possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy holidays, and I will see you in my next one.